بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم ما يتبقى today is about crazy bathing pattern involvement of the lung the common causes what is mean by crazy bathing appearance common causes less common causes and rare causes and uh, clues for differential diagnosis key differential diagnosis issues crazy bathing definition it is a combination of smooth intra interlobular septal thickening sober embossed area of a grand glass attenuation resembles bath made of a broken pieces of stone prevalence of pattern in those with diffuse lung disease about one percent radiology pathology correlation Linear network due to thickening of interlobular septa, septa may also be due to preferential accumulation of material in the periphery of air spaces. A grand glass obesities result from partial alveolar filling. Crazy bathing appearance or pattern can be acute can be subacute acute time course include edema pneumocystis hemorrhage acute interstitial pneumonia diffuse uh, diffuse uh, diffuse airway disease diffuse airway disease subacute or chronic include pulmonary alveolar botinosis cryptogenic organizing pneumonia hemorrhage bronchoalveolar carcinoma lymphangitis carcinomatosa lipoid pneumonia chronic eosinophilic pneumonia focal crazy bearing pattern hemorrhage can be seen in hemorrhage, back, bronchoalveolar carcinoma, lymphangitis carcinomatosa, and, and lipoid pneumonia. Topology, if it is involved the upper lung zones, predominantly it is a chronic eosinophilic pneumonia, most likely, or pneumocystis pneumonia. If it is involved the basilar lung zone, predominantly it is edema, cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, or levoid pneumonia are in differential diagnosis. Extent of a crazy bathing pattern, a greater number of segments involved more likely pulmonary alveolar abortoniosis to be considered. The common causes pulmonary pulmonary alveolar botinosis, pneumocystis pneumonia, acute interstitial pneumonia, diffuse alveolar damage, and edema. Pulmonary alveolar botinosis, classic disease with the crazy bathing pattern subsequently found in other disease. Crazy baby button often has sharply marginated geographic distribution. Widespread crazy baby button not seen with other condition. Symptoms usually less severe than the radiographic abnormalities. Non-productive cough, dyspnea, fever less common. As we see here, axial high resolution CT scan involving of the 
both along with the crazy bearing pattern and patient with alveolar pulmonary alveolar proteinosis with wide distribution more to the right, wide distribution more to the right side. As we said, the crazy bearing, it is a grand glass appearance associated with interlobular uh, thickening. Here, another patient with pulmonary alveolar proteinosis, axial high resolution CT scan. There is a widespread pattern of the disease. Here, another patient with uh, pulmonary alveolar proteinosis, axial high resolution CT scan with uh, a crazy bearing pattern uh, with uh, involvement both lungs more to the right side. Pneumocystis pneumonia, typically very high lung or above lung distribution. More severe in the above lung zones in patients on ventamidine aerosol prophylaxis. May have pneumatoceles, which typically developed in periphery of the above lobes. Curiously, pneumatoceles only seen in those with HIV infection. Tough dyspnea and fever is the symptoms. Here, patient with axial done enhanced CT scan, a uh, crazy bearing button uh, with tiny pneumatoses involving both lungs in patient with AIDS. Acute interstitial pneumonia and diffuse alveolar damage cause severe respiratory failure require mechanical ventilation. Acute interstitial pneumonia, progressive respiratory disorder of unknown etiology with diffuse alveolar damage on biopsy. Adult respiratory, acute respiratory distress syndrome and the result of multiple medical or surgical condition with diffuse alveolar damage. Acute interstitial pneumonia more often symmetrical than acute uh, respiratory distress syndrome. A grand glass obesities and a crazy bearing appearance seen in all phases of diffuse alveolar damage. Grand glass obesities and consolidation are more common than the crazy bearing button. Here, axial contrast enhanced CT scan, crazy bearing button from acute interstitial pneumonia, and the distribution is geographic, and it is similar to alveolar pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. Here, another patient with an acute interstitial pneumonia with a crazy bearing button. It is more or less similar to the pulmonary alveolar botinosis. Edema, a crazy bearing button can be seen in both cardiogenic and non-cardiogenic edema. Cardiogenic edema works in a gravity, gravity dependent location. Heart is enlarged and the blood diffusion common in the cardiogenic edema resolves rapidly with treatment. Here, this is patient with edema, axial contrast enhanced CT scan shows diffusing crazy bearing button from edema from crack abuse. Less common causes, diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, is anophilic pneumonia, cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. Diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, 
hemoptysis, eighty percent, and anemia common. Acute onset with hemorrhage into alveolar spaces, result in consolidation or grand glass obesities. A blood removed from the alveoli by, mac by macrophages in two to three days. Macrophages migrate into interstitium and cause septal thickening. Macrophages re removed by lymphatic within seven to fourteen days. Crazy bearing bottom may be seen when macrophages migra migrate to interstitium. Distribution typically very high love or diffuse. Here we see axial high resolution CT scan with typically a crazy bearing button from diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, seen bilaterally. Isonophilic pneumonia, peripheral isonophilic lung consolidation, more common in a chronic 90% than in acute pneumonia. Typically, peripheral in lung consolidation and the grand glass obesities more common than a, a, a crazy bearing button. Here we see axial high resolution CT scan, a crazy bearing button with uh, some area of uh, consolidation, peripheral consolidation in patients with isonophilic pneumonia. The peripheral consolidation is more extensive than the crazy bearing button seen here, and the consolidation that is seen here with effusion more to the left side. Axial Contrast enhanced CT scan with the crazy baby button and acute, uh, inters uh, acute xenophilic pneumonia, also associated with the grand glass obesities, represent dominant findings. Cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, uh, reverse halo sign, foci of the grand obesities, surrounded by halo of consolidation. Obesities may be migratory similar to xenophilic uh, pneumonia. Consolidation and the grand glass obesities are more common than the crazy bearing button. Here we see axial high resolution CT scan, a small foci of uh, subpleural area of the crazy bearing buttons. Uh, in patient with the cryptogenic organizing pneumonia and a very lobular in distribution also characteristic. A rare but important uh, causes bronchoalveolar carcinoma, lymphangitis carcinomatosis, and lipoid pneumonia. Bronchoalveolar carcinoma, mucinous, well differentiated adenocarcinoma, lividic growth result in a grand glass obesities, mixed grand glass obesities and solid obesities and solid nodules. The crazy bearing pattern is uncommon. Interlobular septal thickening may be due to tumor infiltration or edema. <clears throat> Here are axial non-contrast non enhanced CT scan shows focal mass lesion here and, and surrounding by a crazy bearing appearance in patient with bronchoalveolar cell carcinoma. Lymphangitis carcinomatosis often spares the lobes or lungs confined to one lung or lobe in 30%. Interlobular septa often beaded or irregularly thickened, uncommon with other conditions. Associated finding more common including dual effusion, high love, and medicinal adenopathy. Here, axial high-resolution CT scan, wide-spread uh, 
Retroezi behaving abions with lymphangitis carcinomatosa. And we see the fissures as here it is beaded, which is highly suspicious for lymphangitic tumor infiltration. Lipoid pneumonia, aspiration or inhalation of fatty or oily substance, animal or vegetable oil or oral laxative oil-based nose drops and liquid paraffin. Cause chronic consolidation often has fatty density minus 30 to minus 150 Hansfeld unit distribution based on aspiration. Alternative differential approach, a prevalence of a crazy bathing pattern in various diseases, pulmonary alveolar botinosis 100%, diffuse alveolar damage 60-60, acute interstitial pneumonia 30%, hemorrhage cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, or, or xenophilic pneumonia and edema about 10 to 20 percent. Thank you for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another talk.